let's not beat around the bush. We are currently in a disinfecting everything mode here and I figured this would probably be the best time to talk about disinfecting your luggage and your travel gear. Now before we get started on today's video, I would really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, I would appreciate it. On our channel, you will see all things travel related such as vlogs, inspiration, lifestyle, and we share lots of different travel tips and advice. So I invite you to subscribe so you don't miss out. Unfortunately, we can't really travel in a sterile bubble. You are exposed to many different germs when you travel, such as bacteria and viruses. Just think of all the dirt and grime and germs that you pick up when you travel, when you're rolling your luggage through hotels, airports, and streets. And let's not mention the overhead compartments of airplanes, public bathrooms, taxis, yeah, there's just a lot of germs when you travel, let's be honest. Germs can last anywhere from hours to days on different types of surfaces. So when it comes to your travel gear, it is always best to disinfect and clean your gear frequently when you travel. Personally, I recommend cleaning your luggage while you're on your trip and then of course again when you get home. It's going to be your best practice for you to stay healthy and minimize your risk of possibly getting sick while you're traveling. Now I want to tell you a little secret because I was actually doing this before it came cool and I'm actually kind of obsessed with it. Hand washing. Yes! Who would have thought the world would jump on such a trend? No, but seriously, one of the most important things you can do while you're traveling is to wash your hands with soap and water. Rinsing them with water, that's not going to do much. You need both soap and hot water. That's going to be the best preventative to spreading germs and keeping yourself clean. And one measure that I have recently taken was to actually bring my own bottle of antibacterial hand soap. I of course always carry my sanitizer, but I still feel like my hands are just not clean even after sanitizing my hands with sanitizer. I'd much rather wash them with antibacterial soap. So I actually bring my own little bottle now of antibacterial soap with me when I travel so that if I go to a bathroom and there's no soap left, I can still clean my hands with my own soap because how many times have you went to a bathroom and there's no soap left? Yeah, it's happened a lot to me. But now let's talk about your gear. Another little thing that has became my best friend when I travel, disinfecting wipes. Yes, these little guys are with me every time I go on a trip now. You can get disinfectant wipes in travel size pouches, which is usually what I travel with. I don't have any left right now because I used them all on my last trip and currently, because of the current status of our world, there is no disinfectant wipes left. So I can't get more, but I still have these guys. However, you could probably bring one of these bottles with you too when you travel if you need more wipes. Otherwise, the travel ones work great too. I use them every single time I travel. Now, a few years ago, I actually switched my luggage to the hard sided luggage. This is what I currently travel with. This, and the biggest reason why I changed to this type of luggage was because I can easily clean it and disinfect it. Prior to having this luggage, I used to have the cloth sided luggage, but it's stained easy and I just felt like it was always dirty. With hard sided luggage, I feel like I can really thoroughly clean it. So when I'm traveling and when, of course, when I get back home, I disinfect my luggage and all my gear while I'm on my trip. Now what I recommend is is when you get home or once you like get into your hotel or something put all your luggage and your gear in one area disinfect everything in that little area and then you can bring it in and start moving things around reason being is that you want to keep all germs and everything controlled so I rather disinfect everything in one area and then I will you know start unpacking I rather just contaminate one little area instead of like my entire room or in my house now if you have hard sided luggage and before you start wiping it down with um, disinfecting wipes, just be sure that you aren't gonna like take off the sheen of your luggage or it will like ruin it somehow. So just kind of test the spot first before you start wiping it down. And then you realize you just remove the outside gloss or something of your, of your luggage. Now for the sake of this video, I'm actually just gonna use a wet cloth only because um, I don't wanna waste any of my wipe. These are very precious nowadays and I don't wanna waste them. And all my stuff's already been disinfected so I don't need to do it again. So for video purposes, this is gonna be my disinfecting wipe. Now some of the most important areas on your luggage pieces are, are your handles and your wheels. I personally disinfect everything on the outside, but just be sure that your handles and the wheel portions are very, very thoroughly cleaned and disinfected. Okay, so 
now my luggage is completely disinfected. I went and washed my hands again, and now I will open up my luggage, and then I can start taking my items out as I need. Okay, so now let's talk about the inside of your luggage. When you get home from a trip, the best thing you can do right away is, of course, disinfect your luggage, but also take out all your clothes from your luggage and wash everything. Even if you still have clean items in your luggage, it's just better to wash everything at once so it all gets clean and it gets disinfected all at once. And once you have all your clothes and items out of your luggage, you can also wipe all this down too with a disinfecting wipe. And also, don't forget, a lot of your travel gear is actually more washable than you think. Items like your packing cubes, if you use these, as well as makeup bags, if you use any type of backpack, you can throw all of these items in the wash machine to clean and disinfect them. Now, for items like this backpack here that has a lot of straps and buckles and more like dangly items, what I do with things like this is I just throw them in either, you can use like a laundry bag, or I don't have one of those, but I used old pillowcases. So I toss this in a pillowcase, wrap it, and then I go ahead and I throw it right in the wash machine just like I would with any other laundry. And then after it's done being washed, I just let it air dry. I And there we go. I just throw some soap in and start it on a regular wash and this backpack is clean. And let's get real, this sits on the floor of airplanes, gross. This should be clean every time you travel. And then also consider washing all your other items that you've touched during your travel a lot. Passport covers, these can easily be wiped down with disinfectant wipes, keys, any type of credit cards, toiletry bags and all the items in it, wallets, purses, and the list goes on and on. You know what I'm saying. And then also don't forget to turn around and go wash down your vehicle that you came back from your trip in. just sounds like too much work. You could take the lazy approach. You could just take all your items, put them in a corner, leave them there for over a week, untouched, don't look at them, don't touch them, and eventually the germs and viruses will die. However, if that is not an option, disinfectant wipes will be your best friend when you travel. Okay, and that's a wrap. Thank you guys for watching this video. I want you to have safe, clean, healthy travels. Wash your hands every time you can. I hope your next vacation is full of memories and I hope you take some of these tips with you when you are traveling because it's always important to clean and sanitize while you're traveling just as much as it's important to clean and sanitize once you get home. Do you have any good stay clean tips when you're traveling? If so, be sure to comment below. I would love to hear them. Travel on everyone.